Well, hello there. It's April 23rd. It's Thursday, and it's time for If It Fits. My name is Deacon John Fitzmorris. Our daily holiday is Lover's Day, so hopefully it's a good day to get in touch with someone you love, whether it be your spouse or whether it be a good friend or, or a family member or even your pet. Uh, touch someone that you love today. Now for the Gospel. Our Gospel today is from the uh, book of uh, Gospel of John, chapter 3. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has, he has seen and heard. But no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He is not rash in his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. And now for today's reflection. In this time of the coronavirus, the tagline is, we may be separated, but we're all in this together. But that really is just a statement of the world. And uh, our gospel today talks about what is of the world and what is of heaven. And what is of heaven is, is Jesus Christ sent to us by his Father uh, as the Son of God. And his mercy, his love, and his, the Holy Spirit is abundant. So what this talks about is this, is that if we are of the world, then we are seeking recognition. If we are of the world, then we're together through the virus. If we are of the world, then we're united in things such as the lions or united in uh, separation or we're united in wearing masks, which is all things we should be doing to keep ourselves healthy. But if we're truly of people of faith, then our true unification is, is that we are united as the body of Christ. And now for our Saint of the Day, St. George. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for April 23rd. Today we celebrate St. George. For all the fame and affection accorded him as the dearly beloved patron saint of England, St. George remains pretty much a mystery to us. The story of his slaying the dragon, rescuing the king's daughter, and converting Libya appears to flow from an old Italian fable, but there's every reason to believe that he was a real martyr who suffered at Lydda, in what is now part of modern-day Israel, probably before the time of Constantine. It's likely George was a soldier in the Roman army who met a violent death after refusing to renounce his Christian faith. Some accounts have his martyrdom in the year 307. It may be momentarily disappointing to learn that today's saint didn't, as best as we can tell, attack a menacing dragon on behalf of a damsel in distress and then convert the entire country. But it's far more important to learn that he was willing to pay the supreme price through martyrdom to follow Christ. Whether it's the legendary saint or the real one, St. George has captured hearts and minds far beyond England. He's also the patron saint of Portugal, Germany, Aragon, Genoa, and Venice. And now for the joke. What sits at the bottom of the sea and twitches? A nervous wreck. Oh, the jokes just keep getting worse. We better pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, to be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ our High Priest interceding on our behalf may be his likeness to ourselves. Bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay warm and have a blessed day.